Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on a tick tick feature that I've seen previously, but I think when I've seen it previously, I didn't think of a good use case for it. And I still might not have a good use case for it, but let me show you the feature and a possible use case for it. And then maybe in the comments, we can discuss other uses for it. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so I'm jumping in here to tick tick and you can see I have my today view up and I've got a lot of different tasks and they belong to different lists. So let me just talk a little bit about my lists over here on the left side. I have several folders, green, yellow, blue. Underneath those folders are different task lists. And what I'm saying is those colors, those are my work projects. So I have a blue work project, a yellow work project and a green work project. And then I also have a personal list here. And this personal list is unrelated to my work activities. So in the morning when I sit down at my computer and get ready to do my work and I pull up my today view to see what tasks I have due today, I can see that the first task is wash the dog. And then the second task is pick up the groceries after work. And that's not really what I want to see when I sit down to do my real work. I don't want to see my personal tasks, you know, that's unrelated to my work. Um, and there's a couple ways we could filter those out, right? We could use tags or we could use uh, custom filters to filter those out. But there's another way. And that is if I go into my personal list and hit the three dots next to it, click on edit. There's an option down here at the very bottom of these list options. It's a checkbox that says hidden next to it. And down below it, it says if enabled, meaning if the checkbox is checked, the tasks within that list won't show up in the all today, tomorrow, next seven days or other smart lists, but you will still receive reminders. And so that got me thinking, you know, I could use this for my personal list, right? If I check this box and I click save. Now, when I go to my today view, I no longer have my personal items in my today view, right? So when I come sit down in the morning, getting ready to do my work and I pull up my today view, now I just have my work items, right? And my personal list is separate. So I could easily plan my work day. And then once my work day is done, well, then I can go and click on my personal list to see what specifically I have due today on my personal list. And now that my work is done, I can go wash the dog or I can go pick up the groceries. So I thought this hidden feature, this hidden checkbox within the list options was kind of a unique feature. And again, I don't know if that's a good use case for it or if there is even a good use case for it. But what I do like is that tick tick gives us the flexibility, right? I mean, these are kind of nuanced things that you won't find in every task manager. Um, the ability to hide certain lists from the smart list, the global smart list. And even though I can't necessarily think of a good use case for it, that doesn't mean that there aren't many tick tick users that can find a good use case for it. And so that's my challenge to you. Can you put in the comment what you think might be a good use case for this hidden checkbox on the list options? Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.